I have anything on my face? No. He gave me an eye. He was like, something's under your head. <laughs> I'm gonna do something uh, today. Uh, I'm gonna be making something. I typically don't make a lot of sweets. Um, I like sweets. I don't have a huge sweet tooth. I'm the only one in my my family that doesn't have a big sweet tooth. My mother loves her pastries. My sister loves her candy, and my father loves his soft caramels and his ice cream. Every single day, he eats half a pint of ice cream. And he's a pretty like lean guy. He exercises. And, it's really healthy other than that. But uh, I'm gonna be making halva today. Uh, this is a tahini based halva. This is the one that you typically see the most in the US. Uh, you'll see variations on this um, in the Middle East as well as uh, parts of India and Pakistan. I kind of streamlined the method. A lot of uh, uh, halva uh, recipes will tell you to use a stand mixer. This one does not require to use a stand mixer. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Okay, we're gonna start by uh, just spraying our loaf pan with a bit of nonsense cooking spray. I lined it with parchment uh, with the like three inch overhang. This is just so you can easily lift the halva after it's been set. You can use some nonsense cooking spray. Try to do it in the sink so it doesn't go all over your floor. One and a half cups tahini. Two tablespoons uh, sesame seeds. This is a mixture of black and white. You don't have to. I just like the way it looks. And a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm just gonna give this a stir. You'll see halva with all kind of fold-ins. This is sesame seeds. Some people will put pistachios in and on top. Uh, different types of nuts. I just kept it simple and kind of just went with sesame seeds. Next, we're going to make the syrup that uh, we're going to fold into the halva, and that's what's going to add the sweetness and also give it the shape. We're going to cook the sugar down to a syrup. Okay, we have a small saucepan. We have half a cup water. We have one and a half cup sugar. And just give this a stir. I'm going to turn this over to medium heat and we're just going to stir this until the sugar dissolves. You see right now that the water is cloudy. You'll know that the sugar has dissolved once the water becomes clear again. Once it's clear and the sugar has dissolved, we'll put in our candy thermometer. So this is probably going to take about six to eight minutes from beginning to start uh, relatively quickly. Once the sugar has melted, uh, we'll increase the heat to medium high and take it up to 250 degrees. Okay, so now the sugar has dissolved. I'm going to stop stirring from here on out. I don't want to kind of increase any kind of crystallization, and I'm just going to insert the candy thermometer here and wait till that goes and hits 250 mark, which is just slightly above, in between softball and hardball. That's what we're gonna be softball stage. This part happens really, really quickly, so you don't wanna walk away or anything like that. Okay, we just hit softball stage. That's 240, we're gonna let it go a little bit further. And we wanted to get to the stage so that when you're mixing it into the tahini mixture, it will crystallize and it'll make the tahini set. Uh, and so it ends up giving it that kind of uh, crumbly texture uh, that you expect when you're eating uh, halva. And we're good. We're gonna take it off heat. This is gonna happen really quickly. The syrup has thickened. There's no color to it because we're not taking it to a caramel. And we're just gonna slowly stream it in. And you're gonna see the tahini is gonna start to thicken. But you need to be really careful at this stage so that Nothing splatters. Game over. Game splatters. over. Game over to your face, to your livelihood. You're going to work as quickly as you can. And you're going to continue to mix until the tahini mixture starts to kind of pull away, just like this, from the sides of the bowl. And then from there, you're going to transfer it over, and then just pat it down. You want to work quickly. So before it sets, and you don't want to overmix. Once it starts to pull away from the sides, you want to stop because otherwise it's going to be too crumbly. 
them too dry. You don't want to work in too much air. It's okay if it's not perfect. I kind of just tap it down really hard like that. We're going to put that aside. We're going to let that set and harden. All right, we have our halva that's cooled. It's set. I'm just going to unmold this. Uh, you can just pull it out easily. And then just kind of flip it over. We'll let this sit. And then we're going to melt our chocolate. This is bittersweet chocolate. I definitely like the bittersweet chocolate for this. Really because halvas are already pretty sweet. You have a good amount of sugar and I kind of like the bitterness from the chocolate. And if you want to go sweet, you could use semi-sweet, but I would definitely push for the bittersweet chocolate. So we have a saucepan of simmering water. We're going to place our four ounces of chocolate over. You don't want the water to have any uh, direct contact to the bowl. And this will melt in a few minutes. I was in video production. Oh yeah? Yeah. It was great. It was so much fun. Mr. Hurd, the first day of class for video production, he's like, kids, you guys are going to make a lot of shitty movies, and we're going to watch them. <laughs> and I was just like, what? Who is this guy? The movie I made was kind of based off of uh, Basic Instinct with Sharon Stone and um, Double Indemnity. Double Indemnity and uh, uh, Sharon Stone. Because we were watching, we went through, we watched different kind of film periods and we focus on film noir and I just got obsessed with those two films even though we didn't watch them in that class. Okay, chocolate's melted. I'm gonna remove it. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna pour the chocolate over the halva. I'm just gonna use an offset to kind of push the chocolate through. It doesn't have to coat each bit. Okay, now I'm going to, while it's still melted, I'm gonna use some different toppings. The dried rose petals tend to come, uh, they're pretty coarse, so I like to just kind of use my fingers and kind of break them down a bit. I have some of the sesame seeds that are reserved, the black and white sesame seeds. Uh, we have some edible, edible dried flowers, uh, corn flowers. There is salt in the halva, but I like a little bit of flaky salt on top. I'm gonna let this sit so the chocolate can set. It's gonna take probably about 20 to 30 minutes. What do you think about the show Big Mac? I haven't, I don't even know what that is. I like that shows are focusing on the early odds because it was a weird time period. What do you think of the song Big Mouth? The what? The song Big Mouth. Wait, who's, who's, oh. The uh, Smiths? Oh. I don't think we've ever spoken about the Smiths. I've never been a big Smiths fan. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, the, the Garden State soundtrack, I think they were right on the Garden down. State soundtrack. I'm not, I don't know. They I don't, weren't on the Garden State soundtrack. They were? No. I don't know why I feel like that. No. Like, it's true. Oh, there is, there's a, something. yes, in Garden State, there's a thing about liking the Smiths. That's there it. is a thing about, <laughs> yes. That's true, they're, they're, they're a couple of sad gen generations apart. The chocolate is set. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of transfer it over with my hands. So this halva is sliceable, but it's still crumbly. This one's not too sweet, especially with the bittersweet chocolate and the amount of salt on top. And the, why I love halva so much is like it's almost aerated that just dissolves on your mouth and it's really addictive. Um, it definitely can become messy like it's going to, what's happening right now. Mm. But I love it. This is just one very simple version. Um, again, there's so many great versions that are made with different type of nut or seed butters. There's other halvas that are not even made with seed uh, seed um, butters. They're made with flours um, that are typical in Iran, Pakistan, India. Uh, which are really delicious, but are very different from this. Halv is like one of those things that it's great on its own, but because of its savory quality, it works really well with other things. So halva folded into ice cream or, act, uh, or, or on top of ice cream is great. Even though I don't have too much of a sweet tooth, I do love halva, and this one's a really approachable recipe, and uh, hopefully you guys, you'll make it. So look, 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 look how many people are here. 
They're just coming here to eat. They're just coming here to eat. I'm like, they're not tasting food, right? This is not a tasting. They're just eating food. Yeah, not my dream.